Hello there, and welcome to Group 5's Assessment Free Presentation. My name is Dylan, and today, myself and my fellow colleagues will be walking you through our creative ad campaign, analysis of HelloFresh, and how it makes the world a better place. HelloFresh is notable and noticeable in its exposure and quality. Their packaging is clean and simple and gives a sense of freshness and environmental awareness. HelloFresh aims to provide everyone with healthy ingredients and easy and delicious recipes to awaken your inner chef. The subscription model allows customers to choose how many meals they want per week, how many people the meal should serve, and a wide variety of organic fresh ingredients to suit any dietary needs. The recipes were created by chefs from across the world and can be prepared in an easy and accessible way. All meals follow a six-step cooking process that lasts up to half an hour and takes out the hassle of long cooking time. Each week there are 19 new recipes and each box is customizable. This makes it perfect for our target market of dads aged 30 to 45 by allowing them to cook for themselves, their families and even their friends. To examine HelloFresh, a SWOT analysis was undertaken. The strengths of HelloFresh include flexible subscriptions, low entry cost models for new subscribers, lowering opportunity costs, the online business model, lowering operational costs, B2C business model, and just-in-time inventory system. Some weaknesses include limited product variation, as products are scheduled based on dietary goals of the consumer, e.g. weight loss or vegan slash vegetarian. Delivery fees are expensive for the industry standard as it's not fixed and based on location of the recipient. There are also many opportunities for HelloFresh, which include high demand for products that can be delivered fast and safely to your door, uh, contact free, increased growth for the target market. And lastly, there are threats to HelloFresh, which include competitors such as Marley Spoon and Blue Apron offering more augments in their product variation and competitors offering similar products and services to HelloFresh, but for a cheaper price. The motto of HelloFresh is that everyone can eat healthy meals for less money. Customers can access fresh ingredients to prepare delicious meals that suit their dietary requirements and taste buds. This helps the environment by being sustainable and saving on carbon gas. HelloFresh caters for different types of lifestyles. There are meat boxes, vegetarian ones, and even vegan and gluten-free options. By ordering HelloFresh, you will buy only what you are consuming, eliminating waste. There are individual boxes or family ones to cater to the exact number of people in your household. For dads, HelloFresh makes mealtime simple and quick since it comes with easy to use recipes while providing a nourished meal that gives them a sense of accomplishment. There is no stress around deciding what to cook with a wide diverse choice of recipes that are suitable for the seasoned cook or the beginner. Our ad campaign will run six communication objectives that are based on the six facets model of advertising. First is perception. This is to increase the target market's exposure and awareness to the HelloFresh brand in New South Wales through advertising in order to boost the traffic to the HelloFresh first time subscribers page by 50% by the end of 2021. Next is cognitive. This is to increase the impressions of first time subscribers by 25% for the HelloFresh family packages by the end of 2021. Next is association. This is to increase the target market's engagement on the HelloFresh Facebook and Instagram channels by 12% by the end of 2021. Next is behavioral. This is to increase the amount of followers of the target audience on the HelloFresh Instagram channel by 25% by the end of 2020. Next is persuasion. This is to increase the amount of subscriptions for the family bundles by 8% by the end of 2020. Next is emotion. This is to increase impressions on the HelloFresh social channels to increase engagement by 12.5% by the end of 2020. HelloFresh's target market is the typical single parent dad. According to McCrindle, there is 156,000 single parent fathers and approximately 144,000 dads at house hubbies looking after their kids. In terms of the demographics, he is a 30 to 44 year old single parent with two children. He's divorced and part of Generation X. This makes it easy to communicate and interact with as they are active social media users. Some of the psychographic aspects of this target market is that they are a mainstreamer, in their spare time they like to play sports like golf, and has a busy lifestyle. In terms of the geographic aspect of the target market, they are located in Sydney, Australia. 
There are also many benefits when using HelloFresh. It is cost efficient, time efficient, healthy, delicious and wholesome, which is perfect for a busy single parent dad. HelloFresh differentiates itself from competitors in a range of ways. Firstly, HelloFresh limits the amount of plastic used in the meal kits they provide to their customers. HelloFresh provides a cardboard box which has the meals in recyclable paper bags. This is different to other brands like Light and Easy, where all their meals are provided in plastic bags and containers. HelloFresh also allows consumers to have a delicious, quick and easily cooked meal. In comparison, another meal kit provider called Blue Apron is more time consuming as they have more complicated meals. HelloFresh is more appropriate for this target market as it provides both a time efficient and nourishing meal. Another point of difference with HelloFresh is that it allows consumers to not go to the effort of purchasing a huge amount of groceries as the meal kits are provided and delivered to their doorstep. This is different to diet plans like Michelle Bridges 12WBT where you need to spend a huge amount of time and money purchasing the correct ingredients. So to start us off, the first ad styles we're going to be looking at are Instagram and Facebook. The content shared on these platforms will consist of challenges for consumers to easily get involved with HelloFresh, thus enticing cons the consumer to purchase. It's very important to establish a connection with the audience, so an effective way of doing this is to give them an opportunity to, to participate and be a part of the community, the HelloFresh community. Fun facts on hygiene and nutrition will also be posted in addition to these competitions and this links into the overall style in which it will consist of a focus on educating the consumer before they purchase. This will involve, this will involve the community to learn all the different ingredients used in clean and nutritious cooking and of course to learn how to use them in the kitchen. This channel will be utilised on motorways and in commercial settings and drivers will easily notice the ad for its large and vibrant appearance. The HelloFresh billboard can be an effective way to entice consumers by catching drivers off guard with this large advertisement. The element of surprise is more prominent in other ads, however, drivers don't expect what to see on billboards, so this approach will incorporate the element of surprise in a different capacity. Billboards are exposed to essentially everyone in commercial areas, so this, lo so this channel can reach a very large variety of target bases, which is a great way to increase brand awareness. The goal of the HelloFresh billboard will be to implement a style that will resonate with the light-hearted and warm tone of HelloFresh advertisements and the brand itself, as well as implement a surprising larger-than-life factor. So the next ad style we're going to be looking at today is the HelloFresh YouTube ad. The YouTube ad for HelloFresh will be an unskippable and static advertisement. A quick, unskippable ad will appear as a spontaneous encounter by the viewer, and this spontaneous nature is an essential ingredient in catching the audience's attention and catching them off guard. The ad's spontaneous appearance, coupled with humour, is more likely to appeal to audience quicker and stronger. With, with a very short time to reach the consumer in the ad, it's very important to make a big impression. The final ad style we're going to be talking about today is the Spotify ad. And like the YouTube ad, the Spotify ad will incorporate a spontaneous and humorous tone. This ad will differ, however, as this ad will focus on being a louder and more in-your-face type of ad. Through incorporating a repetition of certain phrases, voice projections, and sound effects, the consumer's attention will be held quickly and stuck in their memory. An obnoxious tone will be attached to this, as the primary goal is to shock the consumer and catch them off guard. Spotify users would rather, would rather listen to their own music, so this ad has to make a loud and colourful lasting impression. Humour will be used as the primary advertising appeal through which we aim to communicate our products' benefits of a convenient and environmentally considerate lifestyle, where the freedom to create culinary masterpieces is limitless. Using the father figure as a central character throughout our advertisements is designed to resonate with our target audience of fathers aged 30 to 44. The strategy aims to position fathers as having potential to improve their families' lives through food. The previously mentioned benefits of our products for fathers allows them to provide delicious, healthy meals for the family, enabling quality time spent together which can be difficult to achieve in today's world. By practicing what they preach, dads from all over will be modelling positive behaviours for their children and inspiring them from a young age to value the importance of quality, nutritious food. The main strategy highlighted in our integrated marketing campaign is our Step Up to the Plate Challenge, 
which encourages fathers to post their latest HelloFresh creations to social media and in doing so, inspire other dads to follow suit. HelloFresh offers the benefit of convenience, especially for busy families, as it saves them the hassle of endless grocery shopping and labouring over deciding which meals to cook for dinner. Having the products delivered straight to the customer's door helps grant them extra time to do what they love, or focus on what's important, like spending quality time with family. The company is also improving people's lives by offering products or plans that cater to all types of consumer diets. This freedom of choice, including vegan or vegetarian options, and the ability to customise your entire order, is bringing food power to the people. In doing this, HelloFresh caters to a diverse range of clientele preferences, empowering fathers from all walks of life to take positive action. The service also provides the freedom to do more of what you love by making the dinner process much more efficient. By providing the exact amount of ingredients needed for the dishes and packaging the products in recyclable or recycled paper bags, HelloFresh ensures that there is minimal food and material waste. Not only does this provide economic benefits to the consumer by cutting down unnecessary food costs, but it ensures that the company is not inflicting unnecessary harm to the planet. Environmentally, it may not be making the world a better place, but it isn't making it a significantly worse one, which cannot be said for most companies. Paid media spans across all advertisements as all these channels are external platforms. However, aspects of certain channels will encourage earned media as well. Facebook and Instagram ads will focus on promoting consumer challenges, coupled with free to learn content such as recipes and kitchen hygiene, as well as fun facts on health. As a result, our content can be shared amongst the community and in news and social media. This gives the consumer an opportunity to learn more about the mission of HelloFresh and can therefore influence other consumers to engage and purchase. HelloFresh's billboard ad demonstrates an example of paid media as it is presented on motorways and commercial areas. As these er areas are heavily populated, th this can generate a word of mouth as captivating billboards can often catch the attention of viewers. YouTube and Spotify consist of viral and audio advertisements with a humorous, obnoxious tone, and this can generate a word of mouth as earned media, as the ads will be punchy, loud, and send the message very quickly. By applying these ideas, we can generate paid media and through, these, through the ads themselves, and earn media as the aim of these channels is to create a viral effect. Apart from creating awareness of our brand, the Instagram ad's role is to induce sales through the discount code, as well as to encourage engagement with the post and brand via comments and user-generated content when partaking in the competition. Reactions will also be used as an indication of impressions to get a sense of the consumer's emotional involvement with the post. Our banner ad plays a supportive role in our IMC campaign, encouraging behavioural action by directing consumers to our social media pages, where they can properly engage with our offers and competitions. Like all of the advertisements, it also encourages awareness of the HelloFresh brand and what message we are trying to communicate. Through the use of the background visuals, we are appealing to the consumer's cognition by implying the positive environmental implications of our products. In terms of awareness, the YouTube ad does a great job at portraying HelloFresh as having a fun, eccentric brand personality whose products inspire joy and creativity. It also caters to the cognitive facet by explicitly stating the product's benefits and encourages the audience to take similar action to the dad in the video through the graphic following the ad. The role of the Spotify ad is to provide a more explanatory promotion of the product's benefits to enable them to take a more rational, cognitive approach to their purchase decision. Posing the question at the end and offering the introductory discount is a persuasive measure aimed at driving conversions and encouraging engagement with our Instagram campaign. The script also provides the foundation for our influencers' promotional material, which could potentially increase recall of the product and its benefits if the message is consumed via multiple channels. That's all folks. Thank you for listening to our presentation. Hopefully you can now see the potential our ad campaign has for improving the position of HelloFresh with their target market and why they make the world a better place. So, will you step up to the plate and financially back our ideas? And remember to like, comment and subscribe.